Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now this one is in a very different setting from what I usually do. I'm trying something new, so please let me know what you think of it. I've got an overhead camera now to give you an idea of what you're gonna be seeing, like this in front of me with a nice top down. It does copy a lot of people, I know, but it's it works. So just let me know what you think about it and we'll kind of see, you know, maybe if we can change things. The background will be different as well. There won't be all this stuff in, I'll have a better background soon, so just don't worry about that. But this is something that Logitech sent me as a Christmas present, so a big thank you to their UK team for that. And this is the new uh, G Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse, but this is a kind of promotional box. So it's a little bit different from what you'd get if you just bought the mouse itself. So I thought you guys might have a look at it. So here we go. So this is the little informational book that was included in the actual package as well. So this is designed for eSports primarily uh, for you know the most enthusiastic of the gamers. It's been designed in collaboration with the eSports athletes uh, to kind of get a featherlight, fast and precise mouse. It is fully wireless as well. And it's, this is a really cool package and I just thought you guys might like to see it because it's a little bit different. So I have got a cheat sheet with me as well because there's a lot more in this mouse than a lot of them, a lot of them currently. So just bear with me for that. So, around the box, one purpose, play to win. There's just, this is just like an outer sleeve, obviously. And I am using a floor pad um, surface for the tabletop. That will change as well, by the way. <laughs> so, sliding this out. So, nice summary of all the key features, which is nice. So, light speed wireless, using the hero sensor, 16,000 max DPI, zero filtering, smooth, zero smooth smoothing, zero acceleration, 80 grams, 50 million click lifespan, so matching what you'd expect from your cherry keys as well, which is nice. And then designed with and for pros. So the left hand side, we've got the mouse itself. Now, immediately to me, you guys will know, uh, they watch my channel quite regularly, it's a matte black box, so that's a win already. Let's leave that to the side for the moment. Then, then the right hand side, oosh, we have a nice Logitech branded flask. Ooh, this is trippy. To put your water in for alcoholic beverages, your mileage may vary. Um, so that's nice. A nice little carabiner on there as well. And then a Logitech G hat. Very nice, flat hat. Uh, let's see if it will actually fit. Now, my, I've got a massive head, like not in a good way. Um, so a lot of these hats don't fit me. Oh, this might be one that actually does. I'll have to go to the very end. Do I look like a Male genitalia, I think I probably do. But we'll leave it on for effect, for a comedy effect. Uh, what else do we have? We also have some stickers. Play to win, the G logo, and Logitech G logo. Nice. Right, so let's get this out of the way. So as I did say, matte black mouse box, which is oh, also nice. On the side, we've got light sync which we've seen uh, on the previous reviews that I've done, G910 had light sync, um, power play, and then all the technical specs, if you want to read that, pause that and read that. Um, there's other things to note, it weighs 80 grams, so like considering it's wireless, that's a really very light mouse. Uh, resolution, anything from 100 to 16,000 DPI, the zero smooth acceleration filtering that I mentioned already. So, Immediately, generally what you see is the mouse straight away. And obviously we'll take that out and put that to the side for the second. Underneath that we have some more boxes, play to win. This will contain the instructions, a little bit of information on how to get started with it, how to change the pads and to change the battery if you need to. And then a nice cable. Leave your thoughts about the hat in the comments box below. <laughs> so nice rubber cable. There's the connection that's gonna go on the end. 
Uh, it does seem like a fairly, you know, fairly decent cable anyway, so uh, the lifespan should be good on it anyway. If you are wondering, you do get a two question mark year warranty, two year warranty. Um, included in this little box are some optional sides that you can change on the mouse to kind of get a nice custom feel. So you can swap those out to what you kind of feel is best for you. Then we've also got this, which is a micro USB adapter into the USB. So obviously this one's gonna be your receiver when you're actually playing with the mouse, but then you can also use the charging cable to um, use the receiver into your PC when you're not charging it. So obviously you've got one cable to do both things. So you don't need an additional cable, which is nice. So then that enables you to put it, you know, up on your desk uh, by your monitor or something. So you can make sure you're gonna get good reception with the adapter. Should your PC be really close, you can just bang it into the uh, USB port on the front. Okay, so onto the mouse itself. Nice matte black, looks gonna like it's gonna be very fingerprint resistant, which is always good. Let's just get that off. There's the Hero sensor up to 16K of resolution. Some more pads on the front. You've got a, what looks to be, I expect a connection button uh, and then a power switch it gives you a blue indicator when it's on and then red when it's off that's a little bit different you definitely see a green so changing it up uh, on the top obviously you've got the two buttons rate for 50 million clicks nice scroll wheel two side buttons so not mental with just them all over the place which is you know a lot of people do prefer just a couple and you have got some on the right as well. These will be mappable in the software as well, so should you not be comfortable with them as what they are, you can change it up, make macros on them as well, I expect. So, you know, you've got lots of options there. The side buttons are in it by default, don't give you actual control of what they are, so they're flat. So obviously, if you're using this um, as a right-handed player, you could take out the left hand, uh, the right-hand ones and swap them with the left, so you've only got the buttons on the right-hand side, or, you can obviously add both and that'll give you a lot more adjustability or macros in your game. So by default, these little panels are in, but you can easily swap them out as I've done there. And then you've got, um, you know, some more buttons. So the same for the left, you get another set that covers over the left hand side. So you can have one or the other, or you can just have both. So up to you on the customizability. And that does obviously give you left and right hand options, which is very nice to see. There you go, fits very flush. Oh, not coming out easily as well so you've got no worries about that happening now should you be someone that is just addicted and needs to play you know while they're charging i expect that's something you can do as well um don't quote me on that but you know generally these things can be charged while you're playing with them in terms of feel and weight that is you know very very comfortable seems to be gliding very nicely as well uh here's the sound click scroll not overly loud in terms of clicks. Scroll's got a nice feel. It does feel very comfortable in the hand. I have got big hands as well, so you know, bear that in mind. Um, should you've got smaller hands, I, you know, I don't see why there'd be any issue, but um, it, for me, someone with monster claws, it does feel very comfortable. So that's been a quick look at the Logitech G Pro Wireless with the you know additional swag as well, which is very nice. So a big thank you to the Logitech UK team for I'm sending this out for me to have a look at. I will put my thoughts on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the links will be down here if uh, you want to get a bit more of a summary of what I think of this after a little bit of use. But overall, first impressions are great. I do like the adjustability to add the extra buttons on the left hand or the right hand side. Nice to see they're catering for left hand and right hand players in that regard. Um, also give me some feedback on what you think of the new setup because obviously we are using the two cameras. The quality won't match perfectly because one's 4K and one's you know 1080. Um, but hopefully it's a little bit you know something different for you guys. It also allows me to do this a lot faster because it's more of a one take video so there's less editing. So it's less work for me and more content for you guys. So hopefully that's kind of a good compromise for you all. But that being said, that's it for this one. If, if you enjoyed this and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Again, thank you to Logitech UK team for sending this out for me to look at, and I'll see you all in the next one. Try.